Do you ever find yourself struggling to pick a stock so that you can start an option trade? And then when you finally do identify a stock, sometimes you start to second guess yourself and wonder, is this the right one? Well, if this is you, then take a seat, buckle up, and grab a pen and paper, because I'm gonna share with you some of my best stock picking techniques. I can easily spend 10 or more hours every week reviewing stocks, researching the companies, their fundamentals, their financials, and the stock charts. Trying to understand, analyze, and predict whether or not the stocks would make a good option trade. When I first started option trading, I was always afraid of picking bad stocks, which would result in me ending up with a losing trade. And believe me, having a losing trade hurts me down to my core. After years and years of trading, I've developed a method of picking stocks for option trades that seems to work well for me. Now, no one can actually predict how a stock will perform in the market. So the best I can hope for is to tilt the odds in my favor and take advantage of probabilities. Now as a part of this process, I now create and share videos on my YouTube channel about my option trades so that you can see for yourself what I'm doing. Now let's get into the three steps I use for picking stocks for option trades. Step one is to use a stock screener and I'm going to show you how I do that. Step two is to analyze the choices. These are the outputs from the screener. So you're going to narrow down all of the choices from the 8,000 different stocks into a small handful of stocks that make the most sense for your profitable option trades. And then in step three, you'll have the top stocks that best match your criteria and trading style. So here's the first step. With over 8,000 stocks available to trade, I always start looking for stocks by utilizing my one button stock screener. You can download a free copy for yourself by visiting my website, simpleoptiontrading.com slash one button stock screener. You can see that I've downloaded and opened the one button stock screener. It's a simple PDF document, but it contains a set of different hyperlinks that you can use to activate the screening tool with pre-configured helpful criteria. I typically like to start my screens by looking for stocks that are in a bullish trend. So I use this link here labeled bullish trend. I simply click on the link and it opens a stock screener pre-configured with the criteria needed to initially identify those stocks that are in an upward trend. For this demonstration, the stock screener has narrowed the list of over 8,000 available stocks into the 1,060 that meet our search criteria for upward trending stocks. Next, I like to look for stocks that are exhibiting unusually high volume. I do this by specifying the following criteria. For average volume, I'll select over 1 million shares traded. And for current volume, I'm gonna select over 5 million shares traded. So this average volume is the average number of sh shares traded over a three day period. And then the current volume represents the number of shares traded on the current trading day. So this would indicate that there is some unusual activity or interest in this particular stock. Next, I like to find the stocks where industry analysts recommend the stock as either with a buy rating or a strong buy rating. So I'll pick buy or better as the ratings. And at this point, you can see our list of stocks has been narrowed down to the top 40. The next criteria I select deals with the target price of the stock. So these industry analysts, they predict what they believe the stock price will be in one year. And so I always want to pick a target price that is above the current market price. And I do that by specifying here that the target price should be above the current market price. And our list of available choices is now down to 29 different stocks. Next, I want to identify the stocks that have options available for trading. And I do that by selecting here and selecting the optionable criteria. And now we see our list is now 28 different stocks. And at this point, I tend to search the stocks by price by clicking on the price column header. And you can see that the stocks are now listed in descending price order. And there's two pages, so I can go click next and get to the second page. And you can see the prices range from a low of $2.14 to a high of $216.60. So at this point, if you wanted to, you could actually specify pricing criteria. Let's say you're only interested in those stocks that are $20 and under. Well, you can specify the pricing criteria here and specify under $20. And so now our list will show only those stocks that are priced under $20.
using the pricing criteria is a great way to narrow the screening results so that you're only presented with the stocks in your desired price range. Here's one more example where if I wanted to find stocks that were priced under $5, I could specify the under $5 criteria and I could be presented with a list of the two stocks that meet all of our criteria, priced under $5. Here's another helpful and useful feature of this stock screener. For example, I've got the criteria set for the stocks that are priced under $20. And now if I hover over the ticker symbol, I can get a small thumbnail view of the stocks chart. This is helpful for providing a visual screening of those stocks you've initially identified to help you narrow your search. Alternatively, I can select the Charts tab to see the charts for each of the stocks in my screening results list. Here's the tab, and by clicking it, we can immediately see the chart representations for each of the stocks. And by clicking a chart, I can get an immediate detailed view of that chart and the information about the stock. So the output from the stock screener is a short list of stocks that meet my initial criteria. Now these are optionable stocks under $20 that are trending upwards with good volume that industry analysts are recommending as a buy or as a strong buy. So this list of seven stocks is much more manageable than the over 8,000 that are being traded in the open market. I have a list of eight simple rules that I use for analyzing stocks. I'll run through a few of them right now, but if you're interested in seeing all eight and learning more about them, then be sure to check out my video on YouTube where I introduce each rule and how I apply them to my stock picking activity. I'll leave a link in the description below. So do I like the company? Do I believe in their mission? And does the company align with my values? And could I be a potential customer? I do this by visiting the company website and read about the company. What's their mission statement, their products and or services, learn about their corporate goals, and how do they address social and environmental responsibility? For example, if I believe strongly in renewable energy, sustainability, and earth conservation, then I want to make sure I invest in a company that has similar beliefs and objectives. Next, I like to see if the other investors and the stock market in general like the company. I can do this by checking the trading volume, both average and current. Now, if you recall, we actually used the screener to specify this criteria for us as part of filtering the results for us. We had set the average trading volume to 1 million, and the current volume to 5 million. Now, the higher volume means more liquidity, which also means it's easier to buy and sell the stock. You can also just access this information from Yahoo Finance or any other website that provides stock information. So if I open a web browser and go to Yahoo Finance and type in stock symbol CVE, it returns the summary information for the stock, Cenovus Energy Incorporated. And here you can find the current volume information as well as the average trading volume. Next, I like to check out the upside potential for the stock. You know, is there room to grow or is it already maxed out? So I determine the growth potential by looking at the one year price target. Now, professional industry analysts that study, follow, and track the stock give opinions regarding where they think the stock price will be in the next 12 months. So if the delta is large, then the analysts think that the sales and revenue for the company will go up significantly. Let's go back to Yahoo Finance and take a look at stock symbol CVE. We can see that the one year price target is $12.71. So this stock has an upside potential of just over 28%. Conversely, if the difference between the current price and the one year target is smaller, then the company may have slower growth over the next year. Next, let's take a look at Energy Fuels Incorporated, symbol UUUU. Its one year price target is $6.81. And so the upside potential for this stock is much smaller at just over 6%. If you're interested in seeing more of these rules on how they would apply to analyzing stock choices, be sure to check out the video that I mentioned earlier. After applying all eight simple rules, I may find that only one or two stock choices are left for me to select. And at that point, it's so much easier to decide which stock to pick for trading. Or I may end up deciding to pick both. This is an introductory look at how I start to pick stocks for investing and trading. Now, I have not covered everything, but hopefully this is enough to help get you started in the right direction. There's so much more to cover, so I may end up making another video so that we can deep dive into some of the other areas, criteria, tips, and tricks. If this video receives enough likes, I'll make that follow-up video. 
In particular, when I choose stocks for investing, it's different than when I choose stocks for option trading. So I can show those differences in a follow-up video if there's enough interest. If you like the information about my stock picks, then consider joining my Patreon, where I share exclusive videos on my stock picks every week that I'm going to be using for profitable trades. I also include my research notes, stock analysis, and trading strategies for every stock I pick to watch for that week. And of course, all my videos posted on my Patreon are ad-free. There's one last thing before I end this video. Now, making profits and generating an income from option trading is a great thing, but keep in mind that all gains made from trading are considered income and are subject to applicable tax considerations. So every month, I save a portion of the profits that I earned in order to pay for my federal and state taxes. So please consult with your CPA, licensed financial advisor, and or tax preparer regarding the tax liabilities for your unique situation. If you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I also want to wish you good luck and lots of success with all of your trades.